Splash games can be the most interesting thing that has ever been created. It ha it's a gateway for people to create something that are loved by many and some that are not. But of course, Sonic has the weirdest Splash games out of practically everywhere. And so I thought, you know what, how much does it hurt to just at least look at some? I mean, it can't be that bad. I'm gonna look at some that you may have heard before and look at some so obscure that you'll not know what they are. Anyways, the first one I'm gonna look at is Sonic Lost in Mario World, where this is basically a game where just Sonic goes through a Mario level and tries to find Mario, I suppose. Oh, look, there he is. Maybe you can give us some help. Wait, no, no, Mario, 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 please, 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 man. Come on, we, we're at the Olympics together, man. Okay, come on, stop, Mario! Don't really have much to say here. It's basically just Sonic going through a Mario game, and you know what? There's no pain in that. This is fine. Next is a game called Sonic Saves Mario, which is a truck driving game where you basically have to save Mario, I suppose. Mario is drunk. Well, this explains a bit, Mario. This is basically a truck driving game where you have to try and take Mario back to his house while he helplessly full around in the back and breaks every single one of his bones like look at that man's neck that cannot be healthy level complete i guess breaking mario's neck is the point of the game this one's all right it, but most of the enjoyment comes from killing mario next is a game called sonic jump star where you have to jump on springs until you get to the top this is a pretty generic game but my favorite part is just his animations and when he falls down like this is hilarious and holy crap what is that what is that Go back. Alright, I'm not reading this whole thing, but the only thing I will point out here is one line of dialogue. Getting caught as otherwise, you will lose a life. That's right, if you're caught making out, you are immediately executed. Yep, you better hide your parents. I'm not gonna go on and on about this one because it makes my ears bleed as well as my eyes. But basically this game, you gotta make out and if people catch you, you're freaking EXECUTED! I'm a broken man indeed. <laughs> Sonic Skate Glider is the one I have on my list next. I'm also probably on the list. This is a skateboarding game where you travel as Sonic and the only reason I felt up felt to bring this one up is because when he dies, it's absolutely hilarious. You didn't deserve to die. I take everything that I said nice about you back. I will say though, what's the appeal on Sonic games where he's just riding a skateboard, there's not much fun about it. I take everything I said back, this game's the best. Have you ever wanted to race Sonic the super fast, super cool, and super traumatizing ah! hedgehog with a Simpson character? Well, of course somebody did, because and they made a Flash game out of it. Sonic vs. Simpson is a bike racing game Again, why does Sonic look like my serial killer? My question is, is how is Bart Simpson actually like right behind apparently the fastest thing alive? Sonic on clouds. Oh, I can bet you this is going to be epic. Why am I constantly proven wrong? This game legit feels like it was not designed. Like, Sonic feels sluggish as crap. Next on ways the government can get me onto their hit list is a game called Sonic Launch, where he's not moving very fast, just a sec. Okay, there's the Sonic I know. So what you're supposed to do in this game is collect these stars to keep your momentum going, and wow, he's going 10 miles a second, I wish I could go 10 miles a second. How is he going 2 miles a second at that speed? But the best part about this game is obviously the animations. Come on, Sonic, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. Sonic Snow Escape is basically a game where you're trying to escape the police, I suppose. Now, why is he escaping the police? Because he killed innocents. You know, Sonic, if there wasn't anyone in the car, you still destroyed a bunch of property that wasn't yours, you know, you know the rules around here. 
I'm gonna be honest though, I love this skin. It's absolutely hilarious seeing Sonic drive around in a car with a gun just shooting down people. You're dying tonight, innocent! <laughs> Next is a game called Sonic Axis, which is so funny that I can't even play it. This game actually uses its own original models, which I commend them for at least trying, even if they're not good models. The game's also pretty difficult, I mean, it's not too difficult, but I'll just say Cliff again! Now that's all the Sonic Flash games I'm gonna cover today, and while there are many more on the internet that I did play, I don't want to waste like 30 minutes of your time. You're probably staying with family for the holidays and I have one message to you. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe.